all along. I've been saying that all along. It's not how much it costs. It's not your business hours. It's not your business card. It's not your expertise or your precision. It's not your record on Snapdocs. When can you come? That's all I want to know. So I said morning, afternoon, or in the evening. That unlocked the automation. Because somebody tells me morning, afternoon, or evening, well, I'm going to ask them, well, do you want me to come at 12 o'clock? Do you want me to come at 2.30? Or do you want me to come at 5? All right. If you only see 12 o'clock, 2.30, and 5, you're going to pick one. And without even speaking a word to you, you've already put yourself on my schedule. I found out how you... I asked you, how did you find me? And you said it was through Thumbtack, all right? And then I asked you, when do you need an appointment? Is it morning, afternoon, and evening? So not only did I put my link or a link to my schedule on Thumbtack or on my website or on my Google My Business or on my Snapdocs or on my Yellow Pages or on my Bing or any other place in the, in, on the internet, I put my link there and then I showed you exactly the time that you asked for. Now you have automated. Now I don't have to talk to you. Now I just wake up and there's a text message on my alert on my um, phone that says so and so wants to meet you downtown at 11:30 so they can sign one's document. All right. These questions here are gold. If you're not using the call script, it's time to use a call script. All right. And today you're gonna learn how to do it. So let's keep going here. Here's a good question that's on my. I found out that on my when I'm dealing with people. <laughs> So let's read this question here. It says, I certify that I have a government issued identification with my name and photograph, original, unexpired, and I'm able to produce this identification at the time of my appointment. Otherwise, the last sentence is, otherwise I forfeit the appointment and I am not entitled to a refund. Please check yes or please check no. This is a question that I had to ask because why would you ask this question? <laughs> it's probably because you're running to a lot of people who don't have their ID cards. And if you look at the answers, overwhelmingly over the course of about six months, this is about 200 people, about 198, 99 people. Overwhelmingly, people have their ID, yeah? Overwhelmingly, they have their ID. But this is what I look at because, uh, you know, fucking analytical like that. <laughs> I look at these seven people. That one time when you sneak somebody in, you squeeze somebody into an appointment and then, damn, you get to their house, whether or not they paid you already, this is early on in my, in my career, by the way, whether or not they paid you, they don't got ID. Uh, so if they paid you, that's okay because you know it, it's, it doesn't hurt as much, put it that way, because at least you got your travel fee. But if you didn't get paid, you got a dilemma, don't you? <laughs> you got to ask them. All right, well, uh, well, uh, you know, I made it. I I came here. You didn't have your. You didn't fulfill your end of the bargain. So uh, I should be entitled to uh, forty five dollars. Well, hell, I'm not paying you forty five dollars. You haven't done anything, right? That could happen. Most people don't do that. Most people say, all right, well, here's $20. You know, thanks for coming. Sorry about that. I apologize. And, you know, I just couldn't find it, whatever. But you don't want no misunderstanding. Sorry. This is why I have this question here. And this is another question that allowed me to unlock the, the um, automation, right? Including questions like these are great. They're just easy check. Check here, check yes. Someone wants to dispute it. Hey, go back and look. Hey, you said that you had an ID. You don't have an ID. So um, uh, call me when you do. But in the meantime, uh, I'm on to my next appointment. I got to keep this, right? So let's build this call script, all right? Number one, you got to get a dedicated business phone, right? The reason why you got to get a dedicated business phone because you got to separate business from personal. When you're driving down the street, driving down the highway, driving down the freeway, and you have two separate phones, then you one phone call, one phone rings, and you know it's about business. The other one rings, and you know that it's uh, your cousin asking you for money again. All right, somebody's trying to borrow something, or they want to know what time you're going to be here, or it's just something that's going to be distracting you while you're trying to drive, right? Or if you're at the grocery store, wherever you are. One phone rings, it's about business. The other phone rings, it's um, somebody want to know uh, 
bullet time is dinner, right? <laughs> right? When you don't separate those two, you're, it's just a matter of time before, it's a ticking time bomb. You're gonna respond to a business call. Again, if you only have one phone, you're gonna respond to a business call that you meant was personal, you're gonna respond to personal and vice versa, it's gonna be a business call. Uh, it slows you down in terms of your speed and your response time. And that's very critical because again, all notary is time sensitive. All notary is urgent. The faster you respond, the quicker and the more likely you're Hi, going to Hi, my name is you. Renee Denton and I am the owner of California Notary Agency. I am telling you a little bit about my experience with the Cashflow Academy. Mr. Toledo and his agency, the U.S. Notary Agency, has been tremendous to my growth and my ability to scale my loan signing service. With that being said, if it wasn't for him, I would not know all of the things that I have from just his personal coaching, his personal mentoring, and just in general, telling me how to market my business, how to excel, how to leverage, phone script, you name it, everything. He had, if it wasn't for himself, his due diligence with me, I would never be where I am now. Let me just give you a sneak peek. 23K a month? from just escrow companies from our agency was able to do in the first six months of our business. That is just tremendous and a salute to Mr. Toledo. If it wasn't for him from just Google my business, from marketing ourselves to just doing mock calls with escrow companies, how to find notaries, he will tell you everything how to scale your business. So thank you so much, Mr. Toledo, for just investing and investing into Ms. Renee. And I applaud you and I thank you so much gratitude. Excellent, excellent, excellent.